The purpose of this presentation is to provide a user-friendly resource and general guidance to the program office contracting officers representatives who compile the necessary elements of a purchase request package. This information is targeted primarily towards cores and technical experts who seek supplies and simple services. This presentation highlights what market research is, who does it, how to conduct it, and practices to avoid. Before we identify the elements of market research, let's first review who the players are and what their responsibilities are in this process. With adequate information from the core, the CO is the sole decision-making authority to bind the government. The core's efforts are best invested in developing program expertise, project management, and defining the requirement. Although this briefing will not cover the procurement process itself, an overview of the major steps are included for both the core and the CO in the procurement process. Please note where the tactical market research starts and where and when the award decision is made. Keep in mind the immediate objective of market research is not to select an item or items to meet the requirement. It is to identify what is available in the marketplace. Cumulatively, these charts are a snapshot look at the process as a whole and are not an actual representation of all market research. Market research may be an aspect in every step, and it starts long before the purchase request and continues long after the award. We all know how to spend our own money. For instance, some of us may have the luxury to buy the hottest brand name cell phone or gadget from whichever supplier we choose without balancing our checkbook or consulting a domestic partner for input. Fortunately, that is our individual choice. However, this individual choice and mindset does not translate well into the collective responsibility we bear when spending appropriated funds. As many of you know, spending taxpayer dollars comes with a host of policies, rules, and regulations. Without understanding the procurement process, it can seem time-consuming and perhaps confusing or frustrating to adhere to the policies, rules, and regulations. Yet this process is created to enhance our critical thinking, sound business practices, and accountability to the American taxpayer. The point being, the federal government has many interests to consider when it is making a purchase. And one of the sound business practices the government uses is market research. Market research is a continuous process designed to gather data on products and services, market capabilities, and the business practices associated with them. Essentially, this means what is available in the market. Market research is done at both a strategic and tactical level. Strategically, the research is continuous market surveillance. The researcher's goal is to develop a knowledge base and broad understanding of the markets, technologies, business developments, and the products or services of interest. Strategic market research is an ongoing process and is usually not focused on a single acquisition. Tactically, the research builds on the results of ongoing strategic market research, using those findings to help identify targets for more in-depth research. Tactical market research is conducted during the procurement process to answer specific questions about the market, suppliers, products, and services in order to shape the acquisition strategy. Informal, simplified market research has many benefits. First off, we have a clear definition of our requirement prior to starting market research, and after conducting market research, we have sharpened any of our fuzzy images. We now know who offers the product, if there have been any performance issues with the product, and we know if it can fit the government's need such as systems compatibility. From the perspective of the core who understands the supply or service in the context of the current marketplace, this is indeed valued knowledge to meeting agency mission. In addition, market research helps the government identify mandated socioeconomic programs as well as Indian-owned business or economic enterprises. The government cannot guarantee or imply any work will be coming to any company but we can do our best to advertise our requirement to additional sources we may not have been aware of when we first knew of the government requirement. 
market research ensure, ensures fair opportunity to the small business community and best value in price and performance to the government. Where to start? First off, it's a good idea to understand that, like the differences between the individual American buying power and the government buying power, the government has special terms and conditions it adheres to to which the individual may not. At times, this does limit who the government can do business with. There is no need to reinvent the wheel, so sometimes the best place to start is studying other agencies' procurable products and services. For that reason, it is often wise to review GSA. Corps and technical personnel are advised to conduct market research by opening and closing the dialogue with a statement similar to, I am a government employee. I am conducting market research on. I have no authority to bind the government and I am reaching out to you today for information purposes only. Market researchers are advised to request no more than the minimum information needed. When we do not identify we are contacting industry for information purposes only, the contractors may believe the government has a large upcoming requirement when the situation may be more like many people within the government contacted industry for the same small requirement. While conducting market research, technical personnel must be careful not to disclose specific information that would give a vendor a competitive advantage. Information made available to one competing vendor must be made available to all. A contracting officer is a proper individual to release such information. The intent of this rule is to preserve the integrity of the federal procurement system by ensuring that all potential contractors are treated equally to the best of our ability. To give a vendor advance or exclusive procurement details may discriminate against competing contractors. This could result in a sustainable protest, which would block purchase order award. Let's walk through an example of market research for a supply and a service. Let's imagine the government has a need for conference space. The Corps is advised to follow federal, department, and bureau travel and meeting space procedures when defining the need. Once that need is defined, let's say a meeting space to accommodate 200 people. At this point, the market researcher would begin to investigate the market. Using a search engine on the internet, the researcher may find at least three venues that can provide the space in the selected city. The researcher should then document the information found during market research as well as any published price lists. Such information may include hotel names, audiovisual equipment, availability date, and size of businesses, etc. This can be all the market research that a Corps does. However, it is often best to learn from the experience of other agencies. In fact, GSA provides a guidance fact sheet called Planning Tool for Groups and Meetings, which further simplifies this process. There is always more than one way to conduct market research. Now let's imagine the government has a need for an on-site three-day project management course for 30 individuals. When I search GSA Advantage, many items are on schedules. Some training sessions were for two days, some for three, and some for four or more. Some courses had a maximum of 25, some had minimums, and most included all training materials in the price. This is a good example of the necessity of market research. We can plan accordingly when we know we have a need for 30 to be trained, but commercial practice may limit class size to 25. There are many benefits in conducting market research. Through adequate market research, the Bureau of Indian Affairs has used a sound business practice, ensured the marketplace can fill our need, the organized market research will reduce the surprises and minimize risks for both the government and the contractor. Consequently, the BIA is more able to define its needs, establish appropriate business relationships and communication with our partners, and this leads to a higher quality supplies or services contract. If you have any questions regarding market research or the procurement process, please kindly contact your local acquisition professional.